Well, I can't call it clear skies. Let me call it fair skies. We're we'll right now to Central Texas Live. Look for the Standard Insurance Agency Sky Live weather camera, Santa Fe Plaza, and off in the distance, Scott and White. Here's our map. We're, we've got a little frontal system trying to come out of the Rockies right now. That's several days away for us. The more immediate situation is this ridge of high pressure here, and it's, and it's a good situation. Let me put it that way. It does allow a little bit of moisture to come sliding in underneath on the sea breeze coming in off the Gulf of Mexico. So we'll continue to see shower activity from maybe Temple on back down towards Cameron into the Brazos Valley and then eastward over into the Piney Woods for the next several days. It's not going to amount to a whole lot, but you will see showers like we saw today. Brief splash of rain moving in and then moving out rapidly. Good flow out of the south too. That means humidity levels are going to be very high for us and humidity is going to be almost unbearable at times. We're going to be looking at readings getting into the low 90s for the rest of the week. That ridge of high pressure just gets stronger, spreads out across the Great Lakes all the way down into the Lone Star State and then back out to the west and that heat is really going to start building in so we're going to start feeling very hot and I just told you about the humidity so it's going to be uncomfortable at times. A couple of sprinkles showing up on the radar out at the 150 mile range here. Not sure how much of that's actually reaching the ground. It's not going to amount to a whole lot. 77 in Waco now, 73 in Gatesville as of 10 p.m. 73 in Colleen Coppers Cove and Temple. Belton, also 73, 73 in Mahia. It's the common denominator across central Texas tonight. We're looking at readings in the low 70s. A little tropical low pressure developing on the lee side of the Rockies is going to help increase our winds during the afternoons. We're going to be pushing them up to around 10 to 15 miles an hour at times. Kind of gusty otherwise. It's just going to be kind of steamy for us for the next couple of days. And again, there you see the little streaming moisture coming in off the Gulf of Mexico in the form of those sea breeze showers will keep things a little bit damp at times. Few clouds in the forecast for us tonight. Sultry evening with high humidity values. I think those areas that got some rain this afternoon could likely see some patches of fog in the morning. 72 though will be our overnight low. Tomorrow we start out cloudy and again some patches of fog around the area. We'll warm back up to around 89. And that might be conservative. We could be looking at 92 or 93 in some spots tomorrow afternoon. Breezy south winds 10 to 15, gusting to as much as 20 at times. That sets the standard for the next couple of days. We do start creeping better chances of rain in here uh, Friday and Saturday. But again, that's just 20% chances. As we hit Monday and Tuesday, though, I think that system I talked about out in the Rockies could be getting close enough to give us a little better shot at some rain. Six more things you need to know and sports straight ahead. Stay with us.